day, everybody. Welcome to Pop Goes to Brandon. I am the Brandon and I am a poppin'. Today, it's gonna be uh, the cutest episode. Today, it's gonna be the fuzziest, furriest episode. Today, it's just gonna be it's about animals. We are going to the Funko Pop Zoo right now, all different kind of animals, and I do have a little criteria, some just loose rules that we have to abide by at this point. It can't be mythical creatures like unicorns and the Loch Ness Monster and things like that. It can't be like Teddy Rick, you know, it's a teddy bear, it's a shrimp, you know, stuff like that, that used to be humans that are humans inside of the bodies. It can't be, um, you know, made up animals like the gremlins or demons or monsters or anything like that. It just has to be Funko Pops of actual animals. Now, I was just gonna do a top 10 and then I realized, wow, there is a lot of freaking animal pops that I have in my collection. I'm talking over a hundred easily. So we're gonna do a top 24 instead. There are so many animals. It is literally, I need to make a zoo section with all the animals in them. I think that's kind of a good idea when I go ahead and reorganize these. Well, yeah, let's get started. Top 24. We're going to start off with, oh, and they can be cartoons. They can be stuff like that because honestly, Funko Pops aren't real, but cartoons, as long as it's just a standard animal like, um, like cat dog, I'm not going to put cat dog in here because it's not a real thing. I, I don't know. I guess I could have put like Patrick from SpongeBob because he is a starfish. It, it's just complicated. This is really too complicated. I, I just need to get started and get through this thing and get all the warm fuzzies like my, my bear outfit, which I borrowed from my son. And he's going to be horrified that A, I'm wearing it and B, that people now know that he has this. It's very comfortable though. Really warm. It's getting kind of hot in this bear right now. Let me tell you that. Anyways, number 24. Felix the cat. And I'm going to go kind of quick because um, it's a top 24 list, okay? <sighs> There's lots of them. Felix the cat, one of my favorite cartoons when I was growing up, one of the earliest cartoons. And it's a cat. It's a kitty cat. And he dance, 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 dance. So Felix the cat is number 24. Number 23. I don't even know who this is. It's from Disney. It's a flocked Hot Topic exclusive. It's Marie. The, oh, it's from the Aristocats. I get it. The Aristocats. Okay, so another cat. Got it. Marie the Cat from Disney. It's number 23. Told you, Brian, go pretty fast through this thing. Number 22. All right. It's Tom from Tom and Jerry. And he is another... He is a cat. It's a Target exclusive. I love Tom and Jerry. Grew up watching it. So we got three cats in a row. It's Tom. Love cats. Right, number 22. It is the, from Alice in Wonderland, it's the Cheshire cat. Starting to see a little trend here. It's the Cheshire cat. We definitely need to get more Alice in, uh, Alice in Chains. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland um, pops because uh, they're awesome and I do like it. There's plenty to get, but that's our fourth cat in a row. Yep, I think I know what's going on here. Number 21. Garfield. The cat. Marcy, J. Cat, where are you? This is what I get for filming these things from home. I, I need to do this in the studio. Marcy, did you have something to do with this? Because first of all, Garfield would be way higher on the list if I put this together. You know, I originally had like a top 20 and then you added... I've had this cat for 15 years and she keeps messing with me. She meows all morning, she meows all night, she walks on me when I'm trying to sleep. She needs endless amounts of love, she's insatiable, and now she's messing with my pop countdowns by making them all cats. I'm surprised she didn't make these top, these five like the top five. Anyways, are there any more cats in here? All right, here we go. Here's the real countdown. And yes, all of these are on the countdown as well. Um, number 19. Woodsy Owl. Is that Woodsy Owl? It just says Mr. Owl. Who's Woodsy Owl? I'm pretty sure this is Woodsy Owl from the Tootsie Roll Bobs. It's an ad icon. I absolutely love it. When I found this at GameStop, 
I scanned it and it said it was worth like over $70 and I paid like 10 bucks for it. But I think that's a miss. I think that's a glitch in the system on the Funko app because there's a lot of those. Like the Cobra Kai ones. They say they're worth like 50, 60, 70 bucks and they're brand new and they're everywhere. How could they? I got a cat hair. Uh, thanks a lot. Now I got cat hairs in my mouth. Could have been from all these animals. There's lots of animals. I'm glad I don't have allergies. But yeah, sometimes the Funko app is a little hmm. And the Mr. Owl one is uh definitely one of those because i scanned i'm like do i have this one and beep, 70 dollars. i bought it for 10 bucks and i was like yeah but then i looked again and it it wasn't 70 dollars. okay here's a tie well it's not really a tie it's really 18 and number 17 you can pick which one goes where ren and stimpy they're both dogs it's a chihuahua i'm pretty sure yeah stimpy's a dog yeah they're both dogs they hang out they're maniacal they're from the 90s i love ren and stimpy but I don't want to put them like one above the other and say you're number this 17 and you're number 18 because then they'll fight and they'll, one will feel bad and one may get a ego over it. Also from Nickelodeon, the FYE exclusive flocked, and I've never had this on any other countdowns, is the Angry Beavers. How awesome are these? I don't know why these aren't. They'll definitely be in the top 100 countdown. And keep in mind, I have well over, well over almost 2,000 pops. This right here will definitely be in the top 100 because it's just really cool. Super heavy. I found this in, um, where the hell did I find this? I think I found it in Washington. Yes, I think we found it in was it Washington? I don't know. It doesn't even matter. We'll talk about this at another time. Cool pop shop out there. Um, I seriously, I don't know where I found this. Oh, no, 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 no. This was in Tampa Bay, Florida. Yes, Tampa, Florida is where we found this at a uh, really cool shop out there, which is going to, of course, escape my brain. We didn't film there. That's why I don't remember it. Uh, we just kind of stopped in and said, oh, my goodness. But the next time we're in Tampa, which we will be soon for the Ivelisse show. Ivelisse is an AEW. We do a show with her on a side TV. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to film there again. So now we are down to the top 15. I got a mouse for you. It's not Mickey, but Mickey is coming up. It's Rat Fink. I guess this is like a skater thing. I've seen this back in the day. I don't know exactly what it is. This is the uh, Tokyo Toy Tokyo San Diego 2019 limited edition of Rat Frank. I just like it. It says it's an icon. I don't know what it's an icon of, but I need to look that up and do it. It's a translucent one. It's really freaking cool, man. It's a, it's a good pop. I like this pop. And I got the other one as well in that line. Okay. We saw Garfield earlier, who should be probably in the top seven or eight, but we will put Odie here at number 14. I love Odie, and uh, if you're my age or even within 10 years each way, you also love Odie. Now it's time for the mouse. We're going with Apprentice Mickey. This is from the Mickey, 90 years of Mickey. I love Mickey Mouse. I have a ton of Mickey Mouse pops. I have some just within reach that I can grab. Uh, it's not, a, it, he's a mouse. It's a real animal, right? So I think he fits the criteria. Number 12, he's a bear. Just like me right now. He's Sugar Bear. He puts sugary, crappy cereal in your kid's system and uh, smiles the whole time he's doing it. Target exclusive Sugar Bear. Uh, it's a bear. It's a zoo. You can't have a zoo without bears. And you can't have a zoo without more sugary, crappy cereal. Dig him frog. He's a frog, right? These are animals, okay? I'm not making this stuff up. I can't make up an animal. Dig him frog. More sugary, crappy cereal to put into your kids' faces. And I guess we're just going to do a bunch of ad icons at this point because uh, Jeffrey Giraffe flocked Toys R Us a limited edition, which Toys R Us is pretty much gone now. So everything at Toys R Us is a limited edition. It's flocked. It's fuzzy. I want to snuggle it. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. And Jeffrey Giraffe used to be on all those little catalogs that came in the mail. And I'd sit there and look at them as a kid and go, I want that, 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 and circle things. And I want that. Slip it into my mother's room. And she'd go, oh, I guess this is what he wants, huh? Where am I? Number nine. <laughs> Walking Dead. We don't talk much about The Walking Dead because my collection is just getting started. Uh, but this one was really cool. That's some crap on it. And uh, I thought it was, it's uh, Daryl Dixon's dog. It's just dog is the name. Sorry, Marcy Cat. Yes, we have to have some dogs on here. And uh, it's just a standard dog. It's a cool pop. I also have the dog from uh, Fallout 
which I think is called dog meat, but it's a Lucy and we don't count Lucy's here. Otherwise, dog meat would be on the list for sure. All right, number seven. <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> Raggy, I'm number seven. <laughs> okay, I know you all hate me for doing that right now, but it's not that bad of a Scooby impersonation, is it? Is it? It's pretty good. I have a lot of Scooby-Doo ones, but I really like the Christmas one where he's wrapped up in the Christmas lights with a hat on. Super cool. Number seven? I thought that was number seven. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? It's not like I put lower thirds on here and I do all that work. I'm not going to do any of that. Adventure time. Come join your fans. Come to very distant lands. Jake the dog and Finn the human. So he is a dog. He doesn't look like a dog but he's definitely a dog. This is actually the Zombie Jake one, which is in my top three most expensive ones that I have. It's a Comic-Con exclusive from uh, San Diego in whatever year it was, 2009. Wow. That's pretty awesome. I didn't, <laughs> didn't realize this thing was so old. This thing's 11 years old, and uh, yeah, that's pretty badass. Zombie Jake, it's one of the most expensive pops that I have, and uh, it's one that my kid actually likes, so I can't complain about that. We need to get all these... Uh, Adventure Time ones. I really do like them. Number six. Well, hello, Bullwinkle. <laughs> hey, you want to watch me pull a rabbit out of my head again, Bullwinkle? I used to love Rocky and Bullwinkle. I still do. I have most of them. There's a couple I don't have, like Natasha. And I don't think I have the... I think I, I do have the Fearless Leader, yeah. And I definitely have Bullwinkle and I have Boris. So uh, I just got to get Natasha to finish out the Rocky and Bullwinkle line. But come on. He's a, he's a flying squirrel. He's awesome. He definitely belongs in my Funko Pop collection zoo. And I'm going to treat these animals right. They're going to get fed. They're going to have great habitats within their box. And uh, there'll be no PETA people outside the window picketing my Funko Pop collection. Because that would be annoying. Very, very annoying. Number five. It's Snowball. It's flocked. It's a uh, LA Comic Con exclusive. It's really cool. It's the most recent... Uh, Rick and Morty one I've gotten before there was only four that I needed now that I have him there's only three that I need to finish out the entire Rick and Morty collection within my collection so Snowball is number five looking forward to getting those last three Rick and Morty ones so I'll never have to talk about it again until they release more and then they're like hey Brandon we got these and then I'm like ah, okay I gotta get those there's another cat hair right oh my goodness oh wait that's my hair that's like attached okay here we go number four from Caddyshack one of my all-time favorite movies uh, you can't beat Caddyshack. Again, I'm only one away from completing the entire Caddyshack one. I gotta get Ty Webb with the blindfold, but we're talking animals today. We're not talking Chevy Chase. We're talking the flocked one. This came in a package with a t-shirt and uh, actually I think came with, came with a hat actually. And uh, I definitely threw away the other stuff. Didn't throw it away, but it's not with me anymore. It's somewhere buried and I'll never fit into the shirt because it was like a medium and I'm totally extra large all day long. But I love this character in the movie and I absolutely love this pop. That's why it's number four. And another flocked one, number three, is from Billy Madison, the flocked penguin. You can't have a zoo without penguins. Man, it's got a little dent on the box there. Oh man, you can't repair these boxes, man, once you mess them up. I wish you could order more though. I wish like Funko would be, because how hard would it be? You already have the boxes. You have the print, you have the labels. How hard would it be, honestly, for Funko to just print off a new box and send it to you for like five bucks? You can even add shipping and handling, whatever. We need to fix our boxes, man. I'd probably give you like a check, a check, who uses a check? I would probably send you hundreds of dollars right now to fix a lot of these boxes of pops that I don't want to have uh, destroyed. And they're not destroyed, but there's some that have dents and dings and everything. And it would be great if they just send you some freaking an envelope full of these boxes you just throw away the old box and put the new box i don't know if that would tarnish the uh cost of them or kind of uh like roll back the odometer Adom odometer odometer is that what the miles are in the car but at the same time it just makes them look good and keeps them better uh prepared and popped and and safe okay so number two and number one are from the same cartoon from the 90s. We recently did the 90s episode, and I had fun doing that. And uh, I think they were very close to the top as well. If not the top, I think they were the top. And they're going to top this list as well. Number two, Heifer. It's the original Heifer right here. He's got the uh, bag of potato chips, and he's going to town. And number one, you already know what it is. It's Rocco with Spunky. 
uh, he's a wallaby, he's a cow. I don't think you have cows in the zoo and you rarely have wallabies, maybe in a high-end zoo or something like that in Australia, but <sighs> these are awesome. Number one, number two, he's the gold, he's the silver. They're both medal winners, whatever. They're both amazing. I love Rocco's Modern Life. And I love all my animals. And I hope you did too. So I appreciate you guys watching. Treat your pets good. Treat the animals in the zoo. If you're a zookeeper, I don't know why zookeepers are watching me now. Maybe just because of this episode. But just be nice to animals. And unless they're spiders. Step on them, sons of bitches. I don't have any spider. There's a Harry Potter Malfoy one that has a giant spider in his face. I could have bought it 15 times over. Haven't yet because... I don't want to look at it and think it's a real spider because I hate spiders. And I'm nice to bugs. I'll catch them in a cup, throw them out the window, let them go on about their day. I just don't want them in my house. But if there's a spider in my house, <laughs> yes, I will kill them with my bare hands. I'm not afraid of them. I just hate them. No spiders in the zoo. But Rocco, Modern, Rocco and uh, Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life, absolutely. They're the kings of the zoo. They run this roost, so to speak. So, I hope you had fun at my Funko Pop Zoo, and uh, I don't know what we're doing next time, but if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, hit the notification bell so you know when we release new content. And hit the like button, because we all like cute and fuzzy animals, and I'm a cute and fuzzy animal right now, so hit it and like me and love me, and we'll be friends until the end, and we'll go walk hand in hand through the zoo together sometime. The freak am I even talking about? I gotta get out of here, take this stupid thing off. Bye. What happens when the executive producer for Asai TV starts collecting Funko Pops? Well, of course, you end up with a TV show about it. My name is Brandon Bishop. I'm in my mid-40s and I collect small plastic vinyl figures. I don't know how this started, but I do know that it's totally out of control. Join me as I travel the nation hunting for Pops on One Nation Under Pop. Asai TV is available on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and at AsaiTV.com. Use promo code POPS to support this show when subscribing.